Dear. We are in Fort McCoy, Florida. That's where we're at. Fort McCoy. Because you can't get this confused by I-T-H. Yeah. Because they have the Grove, too. Right. This ain't the Grove at I-T-H. This is sunny, warm. Look, look I'm wearing shorts. I'm wearing shorts. I'm wearing shorts. I'm wearing shorts. And everybody else is freezing. Everybody else is freezing. But anyway... We're at the Grove at Lake Oklawaha Resort in Fort McCoy, Florida. This is an Atlas Cottage. Atlas, let's see, yep, Atlas Cottage Homes. This home is roughly 12 by, 13 by 40, let's say. So, four is 12, just under 500 square feet, right at 500 square feet. Um, tiny home, this one's on a concrete foundation. This is not a park model. This is a built on site custom. And actually the neat thing about Lake Okawaha and this resort is this is also a KOA campground. So there's RVers in here. And if you watched our last video where we were at the ATV park and we were looking for Sasquatch in the woods, we there the trails run all the way through here. So a lot of these RVers just come here to ride their side-by-sides and to do their uh, four-wheeling, off-roading, dirt biking, things like that. So anyway, let's go through the features of this home. This is made by Atlas Cottages out of Orlando, Florida. Now they can build somewhere, of course, within a reasonable area of Orlando. Not sure about going out of state or doing anything like that. But at any rate, they are, um, not here on site. The sales office here for KOA kind of watches over this property. They, they put it here, they own some plots of land here that you can purchase. County restrictions here are kind of weird. You have to buy two plots of land in order to put a tiny house on it. So, because their lots are too small. Yeah, because their lots here are too small for a tiny home. And I'm just gonna give Tammy a word that there's a lady walking her dog outside. She might want to come in, but I don't think she's going to, I think she's just walking her dog. But anyway, um, this home, let me give you this information real quick. The sales manager for the lake, uh, Oklahoma Resort is John Wilcox. And we'll put his information in the description. But there you go. Now this, you're gonna have, if you were to come here, you would have to buy the property separate from these folks and then get Atlas to build your cottage. But they have some lots over here that are already set up, ready, waiting for you to do your tiny home. I don't know how many lots they have. <coughs> Excuse me, like I say, there's not a lot of people here that can tell us a whole lot about it. But we just wanted to explore the area. We knew they had a tiny home or two and some lots, so we thought we'd just check them out. So without further ado, let's get into this house. Right here, you've got your regular three foot steel door. Again, we're on a concrete um, foundation. We have the plank flooring, the vinyl luxury vinyl snap together, water resistant type flooring. You've got orange peel, knock down drywall throughout the home. Your living space here is approximately 12 by 10 in this area, I wanna say. 
and Tammy's way over there, and I hope I'm talking loud enough. We've got pot lights throughout the ceiling. The ceiling also in the orange peel. They just definitely need to see the, the large area because most tiny homes that we've been through, we've never seen a living room quite this large, and it's hard to capture it yeah. on film. But now you could, I think they did this because this is a sales office. They've got a double French door here. But can you imagine a side deck there? That would be nice. You can do a side deck, or you can do away with this door, and this would be a great space for your dining. Think, this place is in a place that has all these regulations and restrictions in the county, even though there's nothing but a bunch of, of, of mobile homes and RVs in this whole county. Right. So they're trying to be persnickety when they're right. not tiny persnickety. Homes. Again, the challenge of tiny homes yeah. is real. But it may just be because their lots are so, so tiny, tiny that the tiny homes need to be on a larger lot. So if you did go and you bought an acre lot or something like that in this uh, county, I'm sure that it would be fine, right? Yeah. All right. She did, I don't know if she showed you or not, but right behind her above the two windows is the head unit for the mini split. Um, oh, that was a recessed lighting. Sorry. Yeah, recessed lighting. We do have a few little cracks in the drywall here from Foundation 7 or whatever may have happened. I don't know if they stick build these on site or if they build them somewhere else and bring them to set But you already outside. said that they stick build them on site, did you? Well, I think they are, but I'm not. Sh I'm pretty sure because of the concrete foundation. Oh, okay. They are, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. Uh, in the kitchen, of course, this is, uh, this is big enough for a 36 inch wide refrigerator. Got your cabinets above. These are soft clothes. Well, right. not those not because the, they're so far up. These are, and the drawers, and these are solid wood cabinets. They're not part of the board underneath here. This is all solid wood, wood panel. What is this? Is this granite? Cool? Granite. Beautiful granite. This is a polished roll granite that's mm -hmm. just amazing. Throughout. Luxurious. Large farmhouse mm -hmm. sink. There is no dishwasher in this home. You have your spring. Hot filler. Oh, well, since that it's that's oh, real. That's real. Yeah. You can do that with it if you want it. If you want to spray down, your, you want to spray down your counter. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> can you imagine uh, the electrical problem with that? Corner cabinet. There's plenty of cabinets in this one. Space for your range. Apparently, these either don't come with appliances or they don't put them in here because this is. Fort McCoy, and it's a long ways away from uh, Orlando, so they don't want to put the appliances in here and risk somebody coming in and ripping them out and taking them somewhere. Beadboard is your backsplash. Which is uh, interesting. We I prefer tile. Yeah, I think there's good and bad things about it. Specifically, Greasy they, they yeah, and it seems like splash. they might have went with a eggshell paint, and yeah. I don't think it's very uh, forgiving for grease. Or in your spaghetti sauce when it starts going <laughs> like a volcano. Yeah, and anywhere. if you notice, they didn't even put a, a hood right now. Yeah, over no, no good hood. The, the, that's probably uh, part of the appliance range package. Range area. Yeah, mm -hmm. part of the appliance package. Got your nice lever style light switches. You've got uh, set up here for some little extra tricky buttons. Uh, this. Some of these, not all of them. This has little USB plugs, so you don't have to have your brick stuck on there. And it's a very simple layout, guys. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time here. Love the the windows um, in the yeah, yeah the windows in the hallway. Yeah. That's nice. We don't have that in our house. It's a dungeon, isn't it, dear? Yeah, that's very good. Mm -hmm. uh, you got a return air vent above here. This is gonna help with your ventilation in the bathroom. You do have an exhaust. There's no return. It's just a uh, vent no, that mean, goes into the bathroom. Yeah, it's, a, it's for the return air to flow in and out. Oh, I see. And you've got... No, uh, I would say a, a real return air would, would have the the piping good. down yeah, to the no, air conditioner return, unit. Uh, right. Actual return to the knockout box. That's just a right. return. Then in here, you've got your um, beautiful bathroom. It's got the... Uh, that appears to be a five-piece shower unit with a uh, big rain-style 
shower head and it's got the windows above. It's got a ventilation fan. You carry the beautiful granite through here and you've got the little bowl sink with the waterfall faucet. And a, I didn't get to check out that toilet to see if it's, uh, it looks like it's a nice height. And there's open shelving over here, dude. Did you see that? Yep. That's shelving if you for your linens and things like that. You got a little, little Oop, space. There's your back. Sorry, little space under here. You can put your little uh, uh, another little cabinet there. Put store your uh, wipey doodle paper and or your doodads. Or your doodads. Or your like dad do's. Well, yeah, or your dad do's. Wait, you you store your dad do's in here. Yeah, you do. Ooh, speaking of dad do's, is yeah, there some dad do's in there? Camera, oh my! I need to shut. Hey, everybody needed a little bit of a shock today. Yeah, but that's a good size. A seat height? Elongated. That is a, uh, yeah, good seat height. Right here, you got your laundry room. Look how big this laundry is. No, I'm just kidding. It's not a, it's just where you would it's put wider. your stackable. stackable. So you it's can nice put a wide. ginormous stackable in here. Right, you can put that LG wash tower here. That right. would be a perfect right. thing. You don't have to buy the mini. Right. Right. You don't have mm -hmm. to buy the mini. You get a full-size hook up here. That's nice. Um, the fish, again, next to the water. I hope that doesn't mean there's a leak, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. And again, these tiny homes are not tied in with these lots. Right. So you can go to the Atlas, builder, Atlas, Atlas Cottage. Cottages, and get your own tiny home from them and put it on whatever lot you choose as long as it's within regulation of your county. Now, this is a 10 by 12 master. Plenty of room. This is a good queen size bed. Looks like they have some sort of, um, um, what is it called? Fold down bed. It's called a Murphy bed. That's what this is. You see that? It's a Murphy bed, baby. They Configuration. Put, this is a nice Murphy bed system, too, because the, you've got all this storage. You've got two drawers here. These are not so close. Clothes. This comes out. Huh. And back here you have... So a two. mini office setup? Yeah, you have two USBs. It's awful short for that. How and would you... This would just be for a nightstand for, you know... Oh, okay, that's what it is. Just pull out nightstands. That yeah. makes sense. But you've got two standard plug-ins, 120 volt. And then plug you in your phone two, to charge if yeah, you're into that. Two USBs. You know, we really don't want to put our phone next to our head and next to our bed because of the radiation. And you got a large cabinet here, extra storage. Same thing on the other side. And Murphy look at all it. these recessed lights up here, guys. You got four. Yep. Yeah. And a place uh, hook up for a ceiling fan if you want one. Nice. And you have a higher plug here with your hook up for your cable TV if you have that or satellite. Mm, perfect. So put your TV here if you want to watch TV. And look, bed. guys, you can walk around this bed. It may be a Murphy bed, but there is plenty of walking room all the way around. I mean, I believe it's about three foot on this side, isn't it, dear? Oh, yeah. Maybe about two and a half foot on the other side. He's like, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this. Too heavy for But we see that it's a Murphy bed, and... If you do need something during the day, um, like an office setup, I guess you can put yeah, you a folding, put and put your desk a folding desk mm -hmm. and a folding chair or something. And when you're ready to go, ready to, you got your flag. Now this is this is their open side; they just stored in here. But you do have there's there's wide space. You know, this is a wide room. Like I said, you got three feet of room on each side. Nice, good size closet for a tiny home. Now, it has all their storage in it, but um, you get a good idea. It's not too shabby. You can always put a second rack down here where all this rubbish is. That's not rubbish. That's your mini split. Oh, it is a mini split, unit, isn't it? With your mounting brackets and your screens for your windows. Nice. And this thing is not hooked up. And it's probably, we'll say, 70 couple degrees outside. Mm-hmm. It is so cool. It feels in here. nice. It feels yeah. like it's about 65 in here, 67. Yeah. Really so nice. it's very insulated. Well insulated. I don't know a whole lot about this builder. This was a spur of the moment kind of thing that we, we jumped into for this builder particularly. And we didn't know a whole lot. We didn't realize until we really pulled up that this is a KOA campground slash 
grove, the grove at Lake Oklawaha Resort. I but we're going to call them and, and maybe even go visit them and get more yeah, information, in right? They, we'll see. That may, may be our next stop. But I think they're more of an on-site builder. They're not going to be building them somewhere at a factory and we'll be able to get a tour or anything like that. I'm not... Not 100% sure. If they are, I'm, I'm assuming that's going to limit them within like a 100-mile radius or something like that of yeah. where they can build. What's the time on the video there? We're at 15 minutes and 25 Perfect. seconds. Perfect. Plenty of time for me to remind everyone, hit that thumbs up, share, and if you haven't already and you like this type of content, subscribe to our channel. Get the word out. We're growing, growing, growing. For long, like I mentioned in this morning's video, from the parking lot of Cracker Barrel, we're going to have a live. And we have hit 4,000 and 4,500 subscribers since our last live. So that's two prizes we give away, two subscribers only. On our live. On our live. And if you guys keep pushing this out, by the time we get our next live, which we try, we're going to try to do before the end of the month, maybe. We'll see. Maybe not. No, we, we do it when we have money. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we don't get any money. We're literally, we'll, we're not begging or anything. Because we'll be, we know yeah. there's people out there that think just because we say we, we're limited in funds, that doesn't always mean, please send us money. Yeah, we're, we're you not know? asking you to. Um, but by the time we, we're ready to do a giveaway, we'll be at probably a 5,000 subscribers. So we'll have three prizes. So keep an eye out on our community page for an announcement for our live We'll probably do a video announcing it and all that stuff. So make sure you subscribe so you have a chance to win a prize. And usually our new format that we're going to try to stick with is our lives are going to be related to trivia about us and our channel. So it might be a little obscure question like when we did the video of the log cabin, what town were we in? In what state? And whoever answers first will win a prize. The answer is Cumberland Furnace, Tennessee. Uh, so anyway, well, well, we do trivia. So you got to be you got to be watching our videos, and you got to watch them longer than just the first seven, eight, nine minutes. You got to dig in deep because that's where we're going to be pulling these questions from. And you better be a loyal subscriber to win a prize. So anyway, that's all I'm going to say. Hope you enjoyed this video of this tiny home. I gotta get back to fishing. Getting hungry. Uh, me and the bears go fishing. Those and we'll get the information project. on this tiny home yeah. as far as the we'll price the and video. link we'll it in the end. And put it in the description. Yes. The price and everything will be towards the end, so you gotta keep watching to the end. So mm -hmm. anyway, you guys, we thank you. We appreciate you. Hang in there. We'll see you on the next one. I'm leaving.